Hey guys, it's 97 Lego Maniac with another custom minifigure showcase review. And um, I have uh, um, Steve Rogers in his um, normal civilian outfit and Black Widow in her civilian outfit from Cap and um, the this um, Captain America the Winter Soldier custom minifigure um, base I made and that is um, Arm Zola. And they're all from uh, this amazing standalone film I've ever seen um, next to the Dark Knight. Uh, Captain America the Winter Soldier. I love this movie and I was completely blown away because I because I'm um, after seeing Iron Man 3 I thought that movie was eh, meh eh, it could have been a lot better and after seeing Thor the Dark World I was like yeah I um, Marvel Marvel is really kind of losing their touch right but at, but when I saw so I had low expectations for Captain America the the Winter Soldier now I liked I, I did like the first movie but I did I did wish it was kind of a little bit better but as as for what that movie was I thought the mo first movie was all right and it's kind of underrated but after watching this movie, wow, um, I am completely blown away. And this movie knocks the first Avengers movie, Captain America the First Avenger, and the Avengers both out of the water. And I and I completely love this movie. And yeah. So um I I, I may I was gonna have two more minifigures because um since we mostly saw Captain America as a just a normal guy and Black Widows just as a normal just normal uh gal so um yeah you, we don't really see them in their suits as much and they mostly look like this in the entire movie so i was so i made them but I, then i realized i need to make a base to display my captain america the winter soldier figures and and i'm i'm, I'm planning to have um these two guys then winter soldier then um alexander pierce falcon and these two captain americas i'm, I'm actually wearing a flash cow to, to for this captain america and um for this guy i'm gonna order uh I'm gonna order another Iron Man vs. Ultron set so I can use that helmet because a lot of people love the idea for my Age of Ultron with the helmet idea. I'm passing it on to my Stealth Strike suit. So, um, yep, uh, I'm gonna stop talking now and let's just continue. Starting off with this list, we have um, Steve Rogers in, or Captain America in his civilian clothes. And um, before, before watching The Winter Soldier, Captain America was actually not my favorite superhero. He was just an okay, in my opinion. I. Because I'm after watching the Avengers, and he I did like him a little bit more, but it's not like he it was his role was that significant. He was more of a super gymnast than a superhero. After seeing Winter Soldier and seeing how badass he actually is, he suddenly became one of my top five um, fav um, Marvel characters. He and he knocked Thor out of that list. So yeah, because um Thor kind of kind of went down a little bit for me after seeing Thor: The Dark World. So and I'm. So for Captain America here, I'm I'm gonna say that all this is all 100% painted by me, except for like the star outline, the blue in the middle. But everything else is basically painted. Now to remove the shield out of the way, his um this hair was actually meant for the Age of Ultron, uh. But uh, I did I I didn't really use it anyway because it's not like I'm gonna display him with his hair anyway. But um, if you guys want to know want to know what he looks like with this hair, just imagine this head onto that. Winter, uh, that under that Age of Ultron uniform he wore. Yeah, so uh, the head basically almost looks. The uh, I tried painting almost the same thing like what I did for Age of Ultron, but just a little bit different. And uh, you can see I tried. It's kind of hard to make likeness to characters. To it doesn't. So um, you guys might say this doesn't look like Steve, like Chris Evans. And I and I and I wouldn't argue with you because um that's because um I. I it just looks like a normal face to me, but I did try at least. Um, I, I, because I, um, I gave him a shield though. I, so I hope that kind of makes you think. Oh, uh, it, it is supposed to be Steve Rogers. So, and um, this, uh, this um, this jacket is actually from Cape Madness in this uh, uh AR in the AR jacket, I believe. Yeah, that's it. I painted it um blue, and I gave him some different blue highlights, and you can see here. And um, I did paint like the the chest. That's all painted. Uh, all the lines, the belt buckles. This actually has to be the cleanest belt buckle I've ever painted in my whole entire life. I suck at belt buckles. I suck at painting with silver in general because it never turns out great. It some it always come sort of looks chunky. I'm not sure. Maybe it's because maybe the paint is kind of dried out and it's not as good. Cause I'm I still work well with gold, and you'll see that on Black Widow just for a little bit though. Cause but I guess my silver paint's just bad. <laughs> And he has like brown shoes because it's not like he wore sneakers or anything. I, I maybe he did, but it's just um, it's just not that important. And his shield, this shield was not in the movie. I based this off of Hot Toys. What it is, it's basically his um normal red shield. I'll grab it from my um work in pro pro progress minifigure here. 
there, here's a shield, and what this is supposed to meant, represent is like if after all the wear and tear, it's about it's a completely battle damage, leaving like the the white silver on the outside instead of dark red. It's like the dark red paint's just like chipped off, and yeah, that's what that's exactly what I did here to try to represent because I want to make the shield different, and that's how I did it. This is just a normal battle damage shield, while this is just heavily battle damage. So that's how that's what I represent here, and that's basically it for Steve Rogers and. He's actually a pretty cool simple minifigure, I have to say. It didn't really take that long though. Even without her Black Widow um outfit, she still kicks ass and she still has a nice ass. <laughs> anyway, uh, I shouldn't be laughing on a joke because I'm not funny. So um, this is Black Widow and um in her normal outfit because um, I would make her Black Widow uniform, but really her uniform in the Captain America and Winter Soldier is basically the same thing like the one in the Avengers. The only difference is her hair. That's completely it. It really looks similar. Um, there may be some differences, but it's not that noticeable anyway. So her hair, um, I forget where, where where this hair was from, but I, I ordered it online because I think this hair just works well for Black Widow because I do like the straight hair look. In fact, any hair works for Scarlett Johansson because she's always freaking hot. And um, and uh, I would, and she has a nice Black Widow Lego as, and then she, her front torso is all completely painted. Her head, her head's actually completely painted. It's actually not my best face I painted. If I want to say what is my best um, painted face for, Scar for Black Widow, it would definitely be Age of Ultron. But I kind of, I kind of rushed on this. It's, I didn't half-ass on this. I actually did try my best, but I, I, I want to make it a little bit different. So I, I had her. It looks like she's smirking just a little bit because she is mostly a comic relief in, in uh, the Winter Soldier, which is fine. And then um, she has a brown jacket, and she, you can see she has a nice figure, and she has uh, the gold belt. I'm usually more, uh, I'm actually mm, good more painting with gold paint rather than silver, and I just showed you why, because um, you can see the silver is a little bit chunky there, but for gold, it always seems to work just fine. So, uh, and her boots are also painted, oh man, uh, her boots are painted with dark brown, it extends all the way around. She comes with only one gun. I would give her just two guns, but um, this this is the only one I have. And so yes, yeah, so she comes with one standard pistol. And she comes with this, which is some sort of a, like a little tech phone thing. And yeah, that's basically it for Black Widow. She really wasn't that um, difficult to paint. And yeah, she was she's pretty cool, and I had to make her because and somehow because she is uh, one of the main characters in, in The Winter Soldier and she was awesome. So, let's just conclude this video. Actually, we cannot conclude this video without uh, me going over this, moving that uh, base out of the, the sides. Here's Armzola's base. This is uh, the, for Captain America The Winter Soldier. This is what I'm going to display for my Captain America The Winter Soldier minifigures in Brick Fair. This is the ba basics itself. Now, um, most of my um, custom minifigures will not have a glass display case because those cost a lot of money and I only have two. So I only bought two of them. One was uh, the mini one for my first Avengers minifigure and uh, the another one is a giant box for my other ones. The of like uh, different minifigures. The, all, all the other ones like the last Airbender, Iron Man 3, Captain America, Luna Soldier, Age of Ultron and so much and others are gonna have their own makeshift base so, sort of like this in a way. Some of them are just kind of lazy and lazily put together but this one has to be the best one you will see. What I like about it is um, having a shield and a Hydra logo one side because since those are the main factors in the movie now, and I'm, I'll, I'll show you the painted details. For Armzola uh, he has, there's uh, the face, the computer I painted. Now, I have to say, the scene in this movie, this scene, some people say it's weird and it's really stupid. I don't, that's kind of really stupid to say because we're dealing with a guy who speaks English, who throws hammers all the time. We're dealing with super soldier serums, which is completely comic booky. We're dealing with uh, an arc reactor, which is advanced technology. We're dealing with so many advanced technology. And we're also talking about a talking raccoon and a talking tree in, in this universe. So, and the fact that people are saying this is weird and stupid is the fact that a human mind can be saved in a thousand data banks of computers and stuff, that's just kind of stupid to say. I'm sorry, but that but you're dumb. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and, and this is actually pretty cool. There's are some articulation like for the helmet on the helmet. No, I'm sorry, the camera here. If you guys remember, I see when he was like when uh that's how Armzola can actually see with this camera. And there's like these two computer screens with all these painted dots. These these um dots are all completely painted and uh. 
but the, these panels here, those are not. And there's a chair that, that can actually rotate and move. Here's like some painted details on the sides. And overall, this is actually really cool. And then for the back here, this is actually gonna be for Falcon. I'm gonna have like a uh, clear pieces up here so that way he can display on top there. So he's gonna have Falcon up here. Alexander and Pierce will be here. Winter Soldier will be there. There will be Captain America, two Captain Americas on the front. I knock down the chair at the front. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Steve Rogers here and Black Widow there. So yeah, and um, most this was actually actually the the design I based off of. This is the design of uh, the the design of this space is actually is based on the reference pictures. Some of them are, are minor details I added, like the, the shield and the Hydra logo, these tube things, because I know they have to be here. So I don't think the tubes are actually in the movie, but I just decided to add them because I think they're just, they just look a lot better. So yeah, I could have added like, um, like the, you know, those data banks and the, for the back here, but that's gonna cost, that's gonna be too much and I don't think I have enough bricks to do it. So yeah, this is all I could make. I could make, if I wanna make the entire part of Armzola, it's gonna be as big as this, studio because it is pretty big because you know a thousand data banks <laughs> so yeah now we can actually conclude this video because there's nothing else to talk about now so that's all i have to say in this video if you guys like this um please leave a like and a comment down below follow me on facebook twitter and Flickr. and if you if you don't i will um eat eat your face i don't know um so that's all i have to say hope you guys enjoy this I'll, you will definitely see these guys in brick bear because this is an awesome base and yep, I can't wait to can't wait because it's like uh, three weeks, three weeks or something like that. I'm gonna if, to those who are um, who are who are attending like the, your you guys register and stuff. I'm gonna arrive on Friday, maybe a little bit later than 11 p.m. because it's to me it's like a it's more than a three hour drive if you include traffic from from Pennsylvania to Virginia in the Philadelphia area. So it's a little bit so it's gonna take a little while, but I'll definitely be there. So that's all I have to say. I'll see you guys later.